This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I really appreciate you joining me today and these are some updates coming from London. Don't forget to check out our friends What's The Scene Saying for the latest music updates as well. I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of the video. The story that broke three days ago is the murder of Shaquille Graham. He was shot dead in Catford in Lewisham and tributes have been paid to him and a lot of people have said a lot of nice things actually. Some of his friends have said in comments on social media that he was a very genuine kind-hearted person and he'd been missed by a lot of people. He was shot dead on Mother's Day at 4.30am in Broadway, Catford. The police were called to the scene and he died from a single gunshot wound it is reported. The police attended along with the ambulance service and discovered the man in his 30s. He has now been aged as 30 years old and he died at the scene. Sadly, there was nothing they could do to save his life. The police are carrying out extensive inquiries to establish the circumstances of the murder and a significant cordon remains in place at the scene a day after. Chief Superintendent Trevor Lowry, responsible for the South East Command, said, My thoughts and condolences are with the family of the victim who has lost his life in very tragic circumstances. The incident took place in a very busy part of South London and I hope there will be a lot of witnesses and I would appeal for many to come forward. He said that he knows that such a shooting will be a great concern to the local community and he wants to reassure them that he has done all he can to try to put resources to the investigation. Thank you to Dave Nathan from Crime Scene Images and we was able to see there was a large cordon on a high street and a tent in the middle of it. Several forensic vans were present at the time and this was a very busy area as the police said and I'm sure there will definitely be more to this story as it develops in the days to come. So I want to send my condolences to the family of Shaquille Graham and we'll definitely follow this story and anything that occurs in relation to it. And in some other news coming from Forest Gate, there was a large fire that took place at Forest Gate Police Station on the 6th of March. The entire police station roof was destroyed and there was a massive response from the fire service. Several days later, the police station is still not able to be used and they have moved a lot of the resources such as forensics and specialist units to different areas. Areas. The main base now for Forest Gate police officers is at Plasto Police Station on Barking Road. The police have said in a statement that they have not affected any of the services that are on hand and they would definitely try to reassure the public for any concerns that they may have. They said in a statement that they thank their colleagues at the fire brigade for continuing to investigate the cause of the fire and they are pleased to report that the policing services of the community remained unchanged. They said that they will respond to any cases in their local area exactly the same as they would if the police station hadn't burnt down. So currently at this moment in time, they are not quite sure what had happened, but they're definitely going to be some more updates in the coming days and hours, I imagine, to find out exactly what did occur, as the whole roof of the building was burned down, and they still are not quite sure. No arrests have been made as of yet, but the police will be definitely trying to look out for any information that I'm sure will emerge at some point. So I really appreciate you joining me for these stories. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Don't forget to follow on social media as well, on Telegram, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and also the website. And thank you for joining me tonight.